Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the 1986 Series 3 Decepticon Motormaster. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in all of his modes. I've got the main two in front of you in his combined form, but just below on the step I've got some of his base modes and some different types of packaging. We're also going to look at all the accessories that come with him to help you know if yours is complete. I'll point out things that you need to be aware of as well if you'll have to purchase him one for yourself. I'd just like to remind everybody before we get started properly that if you're not a subscriber to please hit that subscribe button for me now as it really will help this channel out a lot. So here we go then. Here is Motormaster and he is the leader of the Stunticons which you can see in the back we've got the gift sets and they are five Decepticon cars that can combine to form Menasaur. So he's a very popular figure and a very popular character still um, even to this day you know they've done a few uh, reincarnations of him along Combiner Wars. Um, yeah, just I think the whole team is really popular, to be honest. If we have a look at him in his robot mode, again with G1, though, he is quite basic, although this guy has got full rotation. It's not the shoulder, but you can twist the arms up and down. The legs, you've got a bit of movement, to be honest. You can also, if you wanted to, some people decide to display him and stand him with his legs like I just about got it like that but I think that makes him look a little awkward and it's basically how you're getting the legs ready for the combined mode. It also makes him really small for um for a combiner leader. He's also the smallest when he's combined, the smallest combiner anyway. So the last thing you want to be doing is making him that much smaller. But as you can see, the thing with this guy at the moment, the most important thing you're really looking for is the stickers and that's really apparent when it is in the alternate mode which we'll have a look at in a second but there's still some nice stickers there on the front on the chest etc and you can also make out some chrome on the front of his feet there and on the wheels but again we'll discuss that a little bit more in a second so let's have a look at the alternate mode then so this is the main alternate mode this is of course the Kenilworth K100 Aerodyne tractor trailer admittedly i just read that because i wouldn't know that at all um and he's one of the only transformers that is a truck whereas the trailer is attached to it of course optimus primes isn't at all which obviously does make optimus's transformation process very very interesting and of course ultra magnus comes off as well but this is where you can really see the fact that the stickers play a big part and the chrome in the wheels the wheels are good you know it'll go backwards and forwards it is quite small compared to optimus and ultra magnus but again, it does display and I think it does look really good. So before we look at the other modes in a second, let's have a look at him in the combined mode. So this is, of course, Menasaur. And we might as well discuss the pieces that come with Motormaster now. With him being the combiner leader, you will need a left and a right foot, a left and a right fist, a silver chrome sword. So it's important to keep an eye on the chrome, the large purple gun. We've got, I suppose, his crotch stroke waist plate, and we've got this little car here, the little car, a bit like Optimus Prime has roller, which is more used for the base mode, which you'll see in a second, but it also makes a brilliant chest plate, which you can see there. And then of course, we can't forget the head. Now, some heads had the red eyes and some heads had the silver eyes. This is a known variant, and it's, you know, it's not what, not one's not more rare than the other, it's just a known variant. Before we look at some of the packaging, we're going to move this back and I'm going to show you some of the base modes below. Now, the one I'm going to show you straight away is the one that's actually in the instruction book. And that is the very basic base mode, which you can see like so. So it's just the half of the trailer folded down. I've also seen them in all these kind of incarnations. I like this one, but to be fair, I think this is probably one of my favorites but also all three of these they've also i've seen pictures of them with this bit folded over as well so it's sort of acting like a repair bay which i suppose is what it's um, advertised as so there's a lot of playability with this you can attach them to trypticon the decepticon main base but you can also tr attract um, attach him to metroplex obviously that's not in the instructions um i'll do a video showing you that actually but yes you can actually attach them to metroplex as well making it a much more much more interesting figure so what we'll do first and foremost now then we're going to have a look at 
the individual packaging for him because I've got the original first release and then the one that was released a couple of years later in the gold box. Now the box for this is unfortunately quite tattered up but you can still make out the good artwork there and funnily enough look they've got his legs folded over there as well. Um, there's the transformation process they're showing you him into robot mode and again it's got the transformation process with his legs out so because this was 86 on the back we've got the two titans metroplex we mentioned and of course triptych on there lovely lovely battle scene hopefully on the back of one of the big gift sets in a second we can see that in a bit more detail now the gold box was a europe australasian release um, they did come in different languages there was an italian release as well um, by itself in the gig and the cool thing about the gig is they changed his name which we'll have a look at in a second uh, this is a sealed example which is going to be going off for grading soon you've got the same artwork there and then of course we've got the instructions there you know that the five stunticons for menasaur all of that's still exactly the same but then i've got to confess that this battle scene on the back will not be that impressive this is from 1990 so what you've got here in 1990 the transformers hasbro were mainly peddling the micromasters so you've got a quite basic and a quite boring to be fair micromaster a little battle scene there there again it's showing the fact that we've got the five stunticons that combine to form menasaur it's okay but the other one you're about to see in a second is much much better so what we've got in the background we've got the standard hasbro and the gig gift sets there was of course a takara one which unfortunately i don't actually own yet um and of course you can see the motor masters are missing from them because i've got them down on the next shelf in the base display mode so what we'll do i'll just move these just in case i knock them over and we're going to have a look at the hasbro one first as i say because the italian ones are a little more interesting because they do change his name so there is can we see do i need to put it there's the brilliant, brilliant artwork for Menasaur himself. And if we spin it round, we've got the 85 battle scene on the background there. So we've got the Dinobots, Shockwave, the infamous Red Tracks. Great, great piece of artwork. And then if we move over to the Gig variant. So for those of you who don't know, Gig was the Italian company that was licensed by Takara to make Transformers in Italy. So a bit like you obviously got Hasbro of America, CJ was in France, IGA was in Mexico, Gig was in Italy, and they were called Transformers. And instead of being called Menasaur, he's called Pentacar. And I'm sure that's something to do with Pent being obviously Pentagon fives and a car, so five car. And then the interesting thing for him, you can see there his name would be Barracuda quite a nice name to be honest and if we spin it around oh no we've got exactly the same battle scene the 85 battle scene and there of course it says in the bottom right hand corner you can see gig transformer again brilliant brilliant artwork though all right there we go so rather than doing the entire lot of menasaur which i will do eventually soon but i'm sure you can appreciate that takes up quite a bit of space and time with all the little variants that i've got so i thought we'd just have a look <laughs> i jinxed myself i picked him up and his foot fell off that's what's just happened that's why i'm waiting there we go his foot plate just fell off for me thank you very much but there we go so there is of course the 1986 decepticon stunticon leader motormaster hope you enjoyed looking at him hope you brought back some nice memories um like subscribe and comment again if you haven't already for me please and of course please take care thanks for watching like and comment and don't forget to subscribe